Risk assessment matrix is a visualization of risk likelihood versus risk severity. It is similar to an FMEA, failure modes effect analysis, which can be more comprehensive. If you want a quick and dirty approach to showing risks within a project, a risk assessment matrix is better and easier to use to communicate to upper management at a high level. You can use this document then as a drill down to additional details. It's also perfect for putting together a quick presentation and with the right intuition you can put something together in just 30 minutes. The idea is to generate meaningful discussions before drilling down to the nitty-gritty details in an FMEA. To make the risk assessment matrix easy to digest at the management level, it's recommended to use the priority matrix four quadrant template as the basis for communicating risks. Adding too many dimensions or layers will increase complexity unnecessarily. The recommended four dimensions of the risk assessment matrix are the following. Quadrant one, high probability, high severity. Focus all your attention here. Do not work on anything else until this quadrant is cleared. Quadrant two, low probability, high severity. Generally, half your time should be spent here and half on quadrant three. The decision depends on mission criticality of the risks. Quadrant three, high probability and low severity. Generally, high probability, low severity risk should be addressed on a continuous basis to ensure long-term risk mitigation. Quadrant four, low probability, low severity. These risks should be tracked and reviewed periodically, but should not be focused on until all other risks are addressed. Use a cost-benefit template to further evaluate. Two things should be clear. Focus on quadrant one and track but ignore quadrant four for now until resources clear up. However, whether to spend time on high probability, low severity versus low probability, high severity depends on the type of problems you're dealing with. That is, how mission critical the failures would be. In general, it's better to address high severity problems over low severity problems. The common mistake among many people who practice this is to ignore quadrant four and not track risks that have low probability and low severity. While these can be deprioritized when you are addressing other risks, it is imperative that they are tracked. Today's low severity risks can easily become tomorrow's high severity risks. You can also change the quadrant names to occurrence rate versus probability, assuming these failures happen on a periodic basis.